What's up, everyone? This is Ellis Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Just a delayed jump right there. Last time, we finished off Jellyfish Field and made our way to downtown Bikini Bottom. We have our goal to gather all the steering wheels that are here in the downtown area in order to help the evacuation. And in this episode, we are going to continue to do that. Before we do, I still want to try to get that stupid steering wheel. Can I get up here? No. Is there really nothing I can do to actually get that? Hmm. All right. I guess not, unless there's like some super secret way of getting over to that. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just have to deal. Go ahead and hit that, roll across, and there we go. So that's how you're supposed to get through that. Oh, and the way stays open, actually. Well, that's convenient, because I can do this. <laughs> bye bye, Thunder Tiki. You will not be missed. Alright, so now that we made it through here, we have another sign. Thanks, Gary! <laughs> Okay, so this robot is called a G-Love. The best way to deal with it is to bubble balance him from above. Okay, so this is an enemy where we can't just simply get him from the side. Ah! Oh, what the? Dang it, I guess I wasn't directly above him. But we have to ground pound him in order to get rid of him. I was just doing a very bad job of that. Ooh. Oh, hold the phone. Is this how we get over there? This is how we get over there. Awesome. Okay. So that explains how he gets that, and now he can destroy these tikis for the shiny objects that lay within them. And get us another ultra combo. And harass the citizens even more. <laughs> okay, let's heal up a little bit. Uh oh. Nope, not gonna get that. <laughs> Wait, could I potentially. Okay, I didn't actually need it. <laughs> Just different ways of getting things. I guess just in case you forgot you had that move? I don't know. Or maybe we were patching or some. Oh, hello. What is that, hot sauce? That's hot sauce. Okay, so let's see what else is here in the area. We've got a trampoline. Oh, and some tiki jumping. All right, let's see where this... Oh, is it just this? Mm, slightly disappointing, but whatever. So let's actually take a look around the area and see where exactly it is that... I mean, chances are we're going to have to head to the bank. Uh oh another one of these things. There we go. Oh, hey! Number one in the bikini bottom so that gets that, and now we're full health. Bunch of different just ways to potentially go that aren't actually ways that we can go because they're locked off. Excuse me. Okay. Ooh, actually, can we do this? We can! So that allows us to go... Nowhere? I don't see how this potent... I don't see how this helps us... Oh, well, it's sort of a shortcut, I guess. If we want to head back, we could just go over there. So... Oh, or we could just do this. This will also work. I think. Yeah, okay. So we've got a few shortcuts opened up to us to get back to the previous area. But for right now, what we need to do is progress through here and more than likely make it to the bank. Yep. Just more or less a straight shot while avoiding hot sauce. Ow. Interesting, I didn't get hurt at all from that. Okay, but let's try this again. So hit that. And we make it with plenty of time to spare. Oh, and a checkpoint. Go ahead and open up that shortcut and... Wait, can we head into the bank? Not really, no. 
Oh, okay. I was wondering, it's like, the heck was that? It's like, oh, it's probably the cannon again. I'm going to assume that it's the cannon. Oh, it's a different cannon that's shooting couches and sinks. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that. So that destroys all of that and gets us some more shiny objects. What the heck are these here for? Well, I don't know, but whatever. We can just do this. Get some more shiny objects. Feed us some more jellyfish. Blow up some more tikis. Okay, and then there's this crater. Which doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Let's jump down, though. Let's see what's down here. I mean, yeah, this doesn't seem to be anything that we can potentially do with, but there is a switch right here. Let's hit the switch. And miss. Let's try that again. Oh, we have a ramp. Alright then. I see a shiny object over there, but whatever. Let's go ahead and roll over. Awesome. Yeah. Apparently someone is having a terrible, terrible argument, and they're throwing the couches and the sinks out the window. Ah! They're freaking robots every time! I'm just bad at that. Alright, whatever. There's more of these spinning robots, there are more of the dog robots. Ow! Now that was just a jerk move. Okay, we'll blow that one up. That blows that up and gives us access back to that area. Awesome. The heck? Okay, so let's recover our health and not get hit by a sink. Okay, is there any way to get behind these buildings? We just got some shiny objects. I don't know why. Probably because... Oh, hey, it's Bubble Bunny. But probably because one of those things hit something. Well, whatever. Let's hit the switch, see what it does. Oh! Okay. That just makes things a little bit easier. How do we get up there? Hmm. I foresee some platforming in the near future. Is there any way? Eh, I don't know. And all I see are shiny objects, so it's not even that helpful to begin with. Whatever, let's go and talk to Bubble Buddy. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Oh no, who would dare lock their own doors? You'll have to open this door from the inside. All right, thanks, Bubble Buddy. All right, so whatever. Let's get on these trampolines. Oh, what the? Oh, they slide, great. Well, whatever, there's a sock right there. Uh, how on earth? I can't jump that high. Well, I could potentially jump to that. Hmm. But I also don't exactly see. It's probably someplace else in the level, and it'll just take us back to this point. So then we can open up a shortcut to get to, well, the later part of the level. Essentially, I'm thinking that's just a way to teleport. In case we need to come back and reach a further part of the level very quickly. But for right now... Well, hold up. There's, oh, okay. So let's go ahead and get that. That's... Ooh, hello. A way to open up the gate to the Sea Needle. It's a lot, but we open up the way. So that's a different way that we can potentially... Ah! Jerk. So that's the way we can go. Oh, that's just going to create more robots over here, isn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. So it's another steering wheel over this way. Can I reach that? Um, I feel like I could. It's just a matter of actually reaching that point. Ah, no, I can't jump on top of these lights. Or can I? Well, I potentially could. I don't think I... There's no way I can do it with that, though. 
Hmm. Eh, nope, you're not gonna get me that time. Could I potentially? Probably not, but... Yeah, I'm gonna need to get on top of these buildings somehow. Whatever, we'll probably figure it out later. Meanwhile, even though we opened up the way to the sea needle, let's go ahead and just go over this way. Whee! Two points. All right, let's go ahead and blow up the rope, but making machine. All right, and hey, it's Gary. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. So it looks like we have our next objective. We need to go find Sandy. Let's open up the teleport box and look around a little bit. Because there was one place I could still potentially get a... Well, a steering wheel from Spongebob. You can also open up some shortcuts. And get a lot of shiny objects to replace the 21,000 that we got earlier. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that will only allow us to switch to Patrick. Jump to the top of these steps. Sandy can glide across the gap if we had Sandy, which we don't. So we'll just have to come back to that at another point. But for right now, we can grab that, and then we can make our way over to the Sea Needle, which is the only place that we have access to right now. So, onward to the Sea Needle. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them I shall. You've got a deal. Of course, any Yo Mama joke is caused to just throw punches. Admittedly, for some people, that is entirely true, but whatever. Now we can explore the area. Okay, but we... Aha! Bungee jump. All right, let's go ahead and... Well, let's do this first. Okay, so we need to try to break all the tiki's here. Admittedly, trying to do it from very far away is not the greatest idea in the world. I am also quite bad at this, it seems. Oh, hold up. I think one of the... Yeah, at least one of them, I think, is... Yeah, it's one of the shush tiki's. And I missed. Alright, whatever, whatever, whatever. So yeah, we just need to get rid of the other ones, and then we can just get that. There we go. Alright, now is that everything, or are there still more 
places that I need to bungee. Smash all the tiki's and free your Okay. It seems like there are still more tiki's abound. So it must be just around here as well. That or there are more bungee sh spots. Whatever, we have more tartar sauce robots. Which are admittedly very easy to take out. Alright, yeah, and here's another bungee spot. So there are going to be just a lot of these different things in order to... Ooh, hello. A lot of things that we need to go outside for in order to, well, break all the tiki's. But break them we shall, which I'm pretty sure I already mentioned. Oh, that's another thing to be on the lookout for. Now there are thunder tiki's as well. So that's also going to be slightly problematic. Okay, I didn't get all of those. Uh, if I go down this way... And I just hit the Thunder Tiki. Whatever, there's still some more health nearby. Ah, that's not all of them, though. There's still one floating one. Got it! Alright. So that's all the ones in this area. And thankfully, there's some health. And there's also... A robe. Bot that fires missiles that went a lot faster than I anticipated and probably means I'm going to have to wreck all these tiki's again. Damn it! Okay, I'm not even going to bother with the other section. I did manage to do the one to the north. But as long as there are those robots around... Oh, I actually don't see any more. Okay, so maybe there are, that was the only one. And I just got really unlucky. Which is entirely possible. Alright, in which case, I'm going to go over to the west area and get all of these again. So excuse me for just a moment. Okay, now that those are taken care of, let's head on over to the east side. And, well, wreck the rest of these tiki's. Because I don't think we can reach the south. Oh jeez, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff to break and a lot of shiny objects to get. And I missed all those tiki's. All right. Uh, if I could just touch that one. Ah, uh, screw it. Unfortunately, it's a little bit finicky since if you do hit a tiki, you are somewhat pushed over to the side. And quite often than not, unless you're directly above it. Oh, unless... I found this that was somewhat difficult when they were the uh, shush tiki's, but those m I might have also seen some of the indestructible ones as well. Oh, sweet! That actually worked out quite nicely. Hey, we did it! All right, let's go talk to Mr. Krabs then. So he Good should be work. right there. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Well, that was nice. So that's everything here, and that's also 15 spatulas. Though I'm more uncertain. Oh, wow. Um. Okay. Um, I was expecting to switch to Patrick. I kind of figured there would be like a special cutscene or whatever when we w went and talked, like we tried to find Sandy to recruit her. But no. We just straight up get control of Sandy. Okay, game, sure. So now we have access to Sandy. <laughs> now we can try to experiment with what she has. So, regular attack, she just karate chomps. She also has a bit of a glide. We can jump and double jump, and if we hit it a third time, she can lasso to glide. Anything else that she has? Huh, okay, so X allows her to lasso any sort of tiki's or whatever. What happens if we do this? Okay, so it just simply does damage then. So that's good. Also allows us to quickly do that. Okay, so if we jump over here, 
You know, probably we could have just switched to Sandy right here, but whatever. We need to, we need to get that golden spatula anyway. Jump to the top of these steps. Sandy can cl glide. Cannot speak today. Across the gap to the next rooftop by pressing A button three times and keeping it pressed. Okay, just like we experimented with. So we just do that, and she can glide across. However, there are a bunch of different areas that we can look over as well. Like this. Someone better make good use of all these. Okay, so we can just kind of experiment around and jump from rooftop to rooftop and see what exactly we can potentially find. Oh crap. And completely screw up the jump. Um. Well, that makes taking them out easy enough. Let's just wreck these things and get back to where we were. All right, so now that we're back to where we were, let's actually go through this proper. Probably explored all that we really could anyway. At least over in that section. There's bound to be more rooftops that we can get to. Oh, hello, I think I see a sock. As well as more shiny objects. Let's go ahead and get this while we're here. Now, the question, can I get back to where I was? The answer is no. <laughs> Just straight up no. Great, more backtracking. All right, so now we're back. Let's see, there is another place for us to go, but I'm pretty sure we could have just gotten it from those tiki's anyway, so that's nothing that we should concern ourselves with. Sandy can do a chop, which we've already experimented with. If you chop while in the air, you'll perform a karate kick. Okay, that I didn't know about, so we can just do that. And she will just drop kick in the air. You can also lasso objects with the X button, which we've also experimented with. Which simply just does damage, but it's essentially a long-ranged attack. Which is actually quite nice. Uh, anything else we can potentially get to? No? Okay, moving on. Another sign. Say so can swing from a swing hook by pressing the X button whenever we see that Texas-looking symbol. Alright. And essentially, yeah, it just acts like a grappling hook. And also lasso a robot, which we have also experimented with all right more shiny objects and can i eat yes i can awesome there we go all right now is there any other place we can potentially reach to that we couldn't to oh geez okay didn't realize there was a spawning robot machine also known as a duplicator drop kick that all right so that's where we need to go. Is there anything? No, that's not really anything we can get to. Okay, there's the bank. I'm not sure we can do anything right there. Let's go ahead and just grapple across. And there's our box. Awesome. Okay, a few other things nearby. I see a sock over there. What's the best? Well, actually, I just opened up the teleport box, so that will make getting back here a lot easier. But I think I know how to get that sock. I just gotta reorient myself with this grappling hook. And. Oh, hey, there's a steering wheel over there, too. Nice. We can go over here. That will allow us to get the steering wheel. There's another one. And then we can go ahead and wreck this cannon. And I'm not sure if we can actually... No, we're not going to be able to make that. Oh, well, whatever. We have the box. Get in the box, Sandy. Okay. And I do believe that's really it. All right. Let's go ahead and grab the spatula. And there we go. So, with our 16th golden spatula... And Sandy posing like a champ. I think we're going to go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I wanted to do a drop kick. Why can't I do a drop kick? That's weird. Maybe she'll only do that if there are enemies or tiki's nearby, which is 
Or maybe I was just hitting the wrong button. That is also entirely possible. Anyway, next time we are going to head into that window over there and make it to the rooftops of downtown Bikini Bottom. Even though we've been traversing the rooftops here, they're still much higher than we can go. Not to mention, we're still missing a few steering wheels. So, we are going to need to gather more of those. Now, is there any steering wheels behind the building? Or maybe some socks? No, just out of bounds? Oh! Spoil sport game. Well, whatever. We already got everything that we needed. So, let's respawn everything and get more shiny objects. Sure, why not? Until next time, everyone. Take care. You pose, Sandy. You pose. Or do jumping jacks. That works too.